The actress Ashley Judd has been in the news of late and not for the right reasons. She's a TV and film veteran, part of the musical Judd family. She's married to Indy 500 winner Dario Franchitti. She has a master's from Harvard, has done years of humanitarian work overseas. But it was how she looked during a recent round of interviews for her new TV series that put her in the news, specifically rumors that she'd had work done when what she'd had was a round of steroids for a sinus infection that wouldn't go away after the flu. Attacked on the web for having a puffy face, she took to the web in an essay in the Daily Beast and fought back. And tonight, in her first television interview since it all began, she talks about what motivated her in her own words. I don't think that being a public figure makes it legitimate to criticize people the way they are currently criticized in this cultural climate. I got sick in February, so I just did everything I could, including steroids, because we just could not get ahead of this infection. And, you know, I had a very early appearance on a Monday morning and got up and went about my business, and the next thing I knew, I was being slammed by these extraordinary rumors. I started to catch the double bind where, you know, my face looks puffy. She's had work, you know, and then look at the same image and a different interpretation by a separate set of people is, oh, come on, she doesn't even have any wrinkles at all. She's clearly had work. So I look bad, I've, I've had work. I look too good, I've had work. There was an incredibly nasty, vitriolic, and gloating tone about it. I think it's the objectification of girls and women and this hypersexualization of our society that invites the criticism. We are anesthetized to it. You know, we're taught not to admit how much it hurts. Just, you know, go buy more hairspray, get back to the gym, or buy another, you know, butt clencher exercise DVD. You know, that's how to undo the hurt, when in fact that's just contributing to the pain. I want people to share their puffy face moment and talk about, you know, being excoriated, being humiliated, being objectified, being ridiculed, and men as well. You know, my husband and I watch a lot of motorsport in our house. And the products that are marketed to men and the messages that boys are given about what it means to be, you know, masculine and sexy are so ridiculous, equally so. I think what happened to me is very common. It might look a little different in other people's lives because they may not be public figures, but we all go through it.